Hey there, uh, it's Hunter Works, and today we're going to show you how to take your primary clutch off. This will be applicable to any Polaris product, probably even snowmobiles, but certainly on Razors and Rangers. Uh, there's some things that not to do and, and what I do, and you may go, well, you're doing it wrong, and I wouldn't do it your way. Well, it's worked for me for 15 years. Um, a customer yesterday with his clutch came apart while trying to take his off, spurred this video, thinking this is a pretty simple process, so let's, let's make one for everybody to use. Um, I ask that you subscribe to our videos. There's a link down below here, even in the corner, probably right around my elbow, uh, wherever. I don't know. Never know where that sucker's going to show up, but there's also one below our video there. But uh, subscribe to us. Okay, so so the guy yesterday, uh, his method was he. I'm sure he had a bigger uh, ratchet than this, and he probably had something different this would handle. But a lot of people stick something through the clutch all right to to keep it from turning and 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 like he probably would have come in this way so that this hammer could hit against this and then use a, a wrench to to loosen it and and that would be hitting down here whatever to stop the turning well one thing it just popped in my mind is you don't ever want to turn this clutch backwards because some engines they say can skip time when you're turning them backwards so you don't want to let that happen but i'm against this method totally because this half of the clutch is actually screwed on to the center shaft there's a jam nut in here and this piece portion called the spider is threaded and it's threaded onto that rod so if you're holding this you're essentially holding on to the nut, if you will, of a bolt. And then when you put your puller in there to tighten it up, to, to pop it off, then you're screwing the inside and holding this in place. And that's what he did and several others have done. And, and especially like say an 800 razor that the spider's not even uh, Loctited on. So that's not my method. Now, if, if you could hold on to something, it will be back here. So. What do we do here at Hunter Works? Oh, the dreaded impact. Well, that's what I use and been using it. Uh, the bolt that holds this on is a 21 millimeter. So uh, I'm gonna show you how we do it. And you really don't even have to hold it, but I usually grab it with my hand. Your bolt may, may not be a little harder to get out. That is the new updated bolt, because this is 18 model Razor 1000. You'll see the neck down part. If you don't have one, you should get it. I think I told you, but that was 21 millimeter socket. Put it at Hunter Works puller in. Hardened, by the way. You can only get the best at Hunter Works. It's been hardened. If you use those black pullers you see on eBay and Amazon, they'll bend, run into problems. So make, make sure you, you buy a good puller. You can either turn this bolt in by hand or run it in with your impact. All right, let's just say that, fast forward a second, that we was using this impact, we couldn't get it off. Once in a while, it'll be stuck. And then, of course, you can't just keep popping going, going. You'll end up hurting the threads in this thing. I've only had to do it one time, and it worked. But once it's in there good and hard, you get it several direct blows onto the end of the puller, then it's that shock wave just kind of pops it loose. So anyway, let's keep going. Woo, mine came off pretty easy. All right, unscrew it. Take your puller back out. Pull your clutch off. Clutch is off to do whatever it is that you want to do to it. Now, let's reinstall our primary. So, you was taking it off for whatever purpose and you want to put it back and your belt's like so, the secondary clutch. I hook my belt, angle it towards the crankshaft, and put it back. Most of the time it goes back. If it doesn't want to agree with you or it's too tight, you can take your belt tool if you have this style of secondary and put it in here, spread it, and it makes your belt slack or you can get it on. Now, I know. For a fact, somebody's going to comment. Well, ain't no need in your comment what I'm fixing to do because you can't tell this hard head anything. 
All right, so put your bolt back. Get your 21 millimeter socket. I snug it up. I don't torque them. Torque is 96 foot pounds. There's, again, there's just really not a good way to hold it because once again, when you're torquing this back and you stick something through that, you're turning it this way and you're essentially, if it moves, you can pop that loose. So was this method the absolute perfect method? No, but is torquing it with a torque wrench a perfect method? Not to me, because that can happen. Anyway, your clutch is back on. And I appreciate you guys watching this video on how to take your primary clutch off your Polaris and put it back on. Again, please subscribe here down below. Like our videos. And if you got any questions or comments, write them below or give us a call here at Hunter Works. We can do anything for your clutching that you might need. And I appreciate you.